Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Generational Wrestling Podcast. As always, is yours truly, the 28-year-old piece of the franchise, aka the show style, but better known as the G-O-W's resident tribal chief. And with me as always, they got my tag team partner, my brother, my family. He is the flies in the room, Mr. One, Two, Three. Pin that ass down, K Breezy, aka King Two Code, aka the host of all things AEW, including tonight's AEW pre-show slash review show coming up to you later. Two Code, my brother. It feels like it's been forever. How you doing, man? Um, a lot of a lot of working and a lot of sleeping. Uh, <laughs> yo, man. Uh. Dude, I don't even know where to begin, man. First and foremost, y'all, uh, I know the last time you saw us, man, we were all a bit, uh, you know. <laughs> Elevated. <laughs> yeah, man, we, 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 we was definitely, we was, we was, we was definitely uh, feeling toasty. Uh, probably shouldn't be drinking this, but uh, yeah, man, we had, we, we, you know, we had, we had all, uh, not all out, we had a uh, full gear. We had full gear. We had 10 good matches. It was four hours long. It didn't, I mean, even though it did seem long, but, you know, I'm not going to say it wasn't long. It was long, but um, the fact that you didn't really get a lot of BS, you just kind of got the matches and, and everybody had their own kind of story and, and something kind of happened different in all these matches and whatnot. Yeah. Excuse me. But, um, no, man, it, it was a great pay-per-view. Um, I enjoyed it, and we got a surprise with Jay Lethal. You know, he's now all elite. He's going to be facing Sammy Guevara for the TNT Championship. We got our guy in the background, as you can see, holding up that 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 newly won. We got that boy Adam Hangman Page. Uh, you know, he 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 he's going to be having his cowboy shit celebration and. And, and we got we to gotta see what the aftermath is going to be from Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks and what they did and them not doing anything and him losing the title. And right now we're getting that we're getting that promo uh, for all out from Fallout or Fallout from full from full gear getting ready for uh, Dynamite. Mm -hmm. And of course, Jay Lethal. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait, man. I, I can't wait, man. Uh, franchise, my guy, man. What's been good, man? Are you are you good? Are you good? And are you ready? Hey, man, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm always ready. But, you know, we got AEW's mm -hmm. countdown. I think you're ready to start. So really quick, man, let's show the people what we got going on real quick. So, you know, I'm looking at it right now, too cold. I'm, I'm looking right now. Those are just the five announced matches. I could just imagine what else we got on the card. And right now, it's the pyro or, or is going off. We got that video. You know what? You know what? I'm not going to explain it. This is your show, man. Tell the people what we're looking at, too cold. <clears throat> I mean, right now, man, I'm looking at a video package of uh, full gear and, you know, and all the matches and everything that happened. Uh, so, you know, I'm waiting for it to come on. Um, but yeah, man, I do. We man, man, we said it Saturday night, man. We're just waiting for. We're just we're, we're just sitting here waiting for you know for the you know for the fallout of a full gear, uh, man. It, it, yo, who's who's showing up? Like I said, man, they showing Nick Dak, uh, Nick and uh, Nick and Matt Jackson. Uh, like I said, I want to know what 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 can he think? What, what what was going through his mind when he when he sees that replay and and. See hey, what happened. You, you know, you know, you know something that I, I realized once I sobered up and I rewatched the pay per view that I didn't realize when I was a little that, inebriated. What's that? That Adam Cole and the Young Bucks were all wearing matching gear. Kenny Omega was doing his own thing. Man, one of the damn brothers had a purple mustache. He dude was they were purpled out. You know, yeah, exactly. But but I, I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't put two and two together until the head nod. I'm like, oh subliminal, subliminal, subliminals. I got right. it. I got it. You know what I'm saying? My right, my right brain and my left brain, they had a meeting, they had a conversation once I came to. I was like, oh, I got it. I must have forgot something when I fell out the chair. 
yeah, I see. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that might have happened at that time. <laughs> I might have uh, lost a couple. Oh, we can start off with the hangman celebration. Is that the what National we got going Cowboy on? Cowboy shit celebration. Yeah, yes, sir. So if y'all don't know, man, hey, it is 11 17, 2021. So for Ooh. now on, man, on the GOW, November 17th will be officially known as Cowboy Shit Day. Kenny, ooh, he talking. Kenny Omega talking. Hold on. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's let, let's listen to Kenny. What up, Leo? What up, Leo? All right, so we got uh, we got uh, Kenny uh, writing himself off. They're, they're, start, they're starting the distinction. They're 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 they're, they're starting the distinction. Ah, uh, he's a Adam Cole says, "Don't worry, Flinder, I got you." He's a, oh, I was talking to the Bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 coming. It's coming. It's coming. We got trouble in paradise. We got coming. trouble. Oh, shit. We it's got coming. Chinese Already. hungry now. Already. It's coming. Yes, sir. All right, man. We got, we got Johnny Hungy getting starting off the yeah. celebration. And here comes the champ. Straight out of VA, Virginia. Two up, two down. Adam Hey, man, Page. Hey, look, we got we got the arena purple out with purple lights. Too cold, man. Your man is coming down to the ring. Virginia is where it joined. What is that? Virginia is for lovers. Yeah. Lovers and cowboys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He unbuttoned the jacket. Woo! AEW World Heavyweight Championship on my man right there. Hey, look, man, VA taking over. You got Mickey Jane. She from VA. She the champ over on her side of the no, on her side of the tracks. VA looking real good right now. All right, too cold. Really quick, man, for Adam Hayman Page started talking this shit. Uh, the rumor is, man, people think he's gonna be a transitional champion. Uh, we talked about it before. What do you think? I think he's got too much momentum, but a lot of people thinking that MJF is that next man up. Um, depend the depending on how many times he defends the championship. I can see him making it maybe past the next pay per view, um, but if MJF gets to a point to where it's like it's undeniable, he's gonna find some way to weasel his way out to a championship. Then, yeah, you know, hey, it is what it is. But um, right, right, right now, I think there's a few people Hangman can can have some matches with and 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 elevate himself and and. Bill and when and when that time comes to when MJF is going to get the belt or you know they're going to yeah then yeah it'll be worth it. yes sir but they got to build they they got to build Page up as a good champion you can't can't just have him holding the title and then all of a sudden he just lose it that that's that's the WWE way of thinking do not do that please do not do that. Especially when he been when he been chasing it for what two years? I mean, you got you. Hey, look, you got to go all, all in right. like you did with Britt Baker. You got to go all in. You got to at least get at least got to give it a few months. You know, there was rumors that Man Bray was supposed to show up. I heard, man. I heard, but hey, hey, we still we still got time for Bray. We still got time oh, for it, I said, let I'm me talking. ask you this. His name is Wyndham. When Mr. Wyndham. Well, Wyndham. I, 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 but I, we still do. We still do. But I, 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 got, I, got, I got a question for you. Were, were Brian Danielson scheduled to be his first, uh, you know, uh, Brian Danielson, of course, is the new number one contender. So right. do we see Daniel Bryanson kind of being in the Thunder Rosa role where he will lose this match, but then probably later on down towards the end of uh, Hangman's run, we see him go back at it again. 
Because I don't see Brian Danielson beating him not right now. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say yes, but it's not so much being in the Thunder Rosa role. It's just, you know, you know him not winning. Yeah, I, it, 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 right. it, he'll still be Brian Danielson, and he'll he'll get another opportunity. Uh, it may not be on his need to do. He may, I mean, right, Brian, right. He, he seems more content on just wrestling. It, it really may not be on his, I need to win this. But since he does have this opportunity, you know, he's right. going to do. And here he comes. Oh, speaking of, speaking of say, the devil. The American Look, Dragon. He's already, got his, he's already got his ring gear on. He ready already. Look, he coming, yeah. he coming down already. My boy ready to throw them knees and throw them bows. Look at him, ready to go. Hey, Zuko, man, you forgot to tell the people what day it is. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's yes, eight. sir. And I'm like, baby, let's go. We got the American Dragon. We got the Cowboy, Hangman, Adam Page. The hey, dude, what the difference 24 hey, hours champ. makes, right? That belt, that belt looks good on the shoulder. It do. It do. That's a big ass belt. I never realized how big that damn belt that is. I, I like. I like. That's a big. <laughs> belt. That's a heavy belt. Hell yeah. Let's see what the dragon got to say to the hangman. Congratulations. You hear a couple of boos in there? I mean, of course, because people ain't ready for it, but because the hardcore fans want Paige as a champion. Mm, throwing shots already, but okay. I know, I know. I told you he he came out ready to throw some bows. Ooh. <laughs> 30 minutes or less, baby. <laughs> Got his ass. Cowboy shit. Got his ass. <laughs> Cowboy shit. Cowboy shit. Bro, can we just take a minute to admire Brian Danielson and how happy he actually looks to be back in the ring? God damn. That's what I said, man. I he man, look, he he may not really care to win the damn title. He just wanna wrestle. My boy is a kid in the candy store, I'm telling you. To be far. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. He says he's going to be wrestling the Ghostbuster. Hmm. 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 Damn. <laughs> he said wrestle. Hey, hey, that, hey, that boy Brian, he, he going in on my man. What's up with him, bro? Yeah, man. Look, he, hey, this crowd is not fucking with Brian like, right now. I man. like it. I like it. Yeah, let's go. Come on, y'all can do it right now in Virginia. Why not? Come on, make it a let's main go. event. Man. Come on. I ain't mad at you. It's gonna be on TV anyway. You ain't finna make people wait four months. Hey, why not? Why not? Hell yeah, we want to see Russell Hayman Page. Let's go. Two codes that he want to see it too. Nah, hold on. Normally I'd be up for it. Normally I'd be up for it. But here's the thing. I'm out here. 
here, I'm ready. I'm ready to wrestle. I've got my gear on. You've got cowboy boots on and jeans. Okay, so let me ask you this. Is Brian just playing the heel because he in VA? He he in Hangman hometown? Or are we starting nah, to see he a little more? He just, talking Brian shit. he just talking shit and they just booing him. That's all. Mm. Just, mm. He's just he's just Brian talking shit. That's truth all it is. That is all it simply is, man. He is getting trying to get into the head of Hangman and he's talking. That's all. Boo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's See? go. We got a seven See? match going See? on. I told you, man. We got, we got, we got a little bit, a a little bit of physicality Brian going Daniel, on. Brian Danielson wouldn't be bad, man. Hey, you know, now, you know what's crazy? So. I don't feel bad about us. Oh, uh, what's up, Benjamin? What's up, bro? We got Benjamin and Leo on hanging out with the crew. What's up, what's man? Up? What's up, Benjamin? Man, what's up, Leo? Man, what's good with y'all, man? You know, we sitting here watching this, 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 this interaction between Paige and Danielson. But you know, it's crazy. I don't feel bad about calling him Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan, considering JR called him that shit like 20 times at the pay-per-view, and he had to keep catching this though. <laughs> right. Here he come. Oh, here he go. Bam, bam, bam. Hold on, hold on. You a couple seconds ahead right, of me there, big nah, fella. Nah, go change your gear. Go change your gear. Come back. Let's have us a There you go. Hey. Oh, that's right. He fight. That's right. He got to fight Evil Uno. That's why he ain't, we ain't getting a match tonight. I forgot. Damn, Brian yeah, said, yeah. Uh, Brian Danielson is uh, fighting uh, Evil Uno. All right. All right. So I don't know about yours. My 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 TV just literally went to commercial. So while that's on commercial, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mute that. Two go, man. All right. A little uh, war yeah. of words between the AEW World Heavyweight Champion Adam Hangman Page, the American Dragon, the Number One Contender Brian Danielson. Man, they talking that talk. Brian Danielson has some choice words. You know, he had some words for Eddie Kingston, you know. And now he got some words for, for that boy Hangman. Hey, I think we in for a hell of a match whenever we get it, however we get it. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts, man? Oh, yeah. I mean, bro, like I said, I like, like I told you, I wanted Paige to beat Omega. And if mm -hmm. Brian Danielson wins, that will be a great match for Hangman Page to, you know, to 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 you know to solidify that first title defense like a matchup against a guy like that and for Brian right. Daniels to be doing what he's doing like and for him to have the name and, and the recognition that he does that helps AEW build their talent AEW is not necessarily about just bringing in the WWE guys and just letting them run rum shot and be the you know the greatest over everybody else AEW is right. building their homegrown guys, their guys that they yeah. they got the confidence in, like the Sammy Guevara's and the MJS and the Darby Allens and the Heyman Page and the Lucha Bros and all these guys that were there when, when everything started. So and the fact that these older, not older, but these these WWE guys that are leaving that and and and, I'm, and, and let's be honest, man, they're not really so much WWE guys. Like, you know, they're independent guys that just happened to run through WWE and, and got a bigger name. All right. Let's just be right. real. They 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 got they they became more famous through WWE. But you know, since leaving the company and going, you know, to AEW, yeah, man, it brings a little bit of cachet. And to see some of these young guys that no one really knows go up against these guys that we all know, like a, a jungle right. boy versus Adam Cole. Like, dude, like Jungle Boy's star power is like really going up right now. Like everything, there, there's no going down. He's really just his, his momentum is going up, and that's great and that's awesome. But like I say, you know, he put on a great match, you know, for the pay per view on Saturday with you know with his boy uh, Cage and, and Luchasaurus against the Super Click. So you know you right. 
Well, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you about AEW and and and, and former WWE people because you said something earlier, and I'm gonna talk to you. I want to address it. I want you to address it. Actually, then I follow up. Like, Rick Flair, man, Rick Flair, Rick Flair had some choice words for a couple of people in AEW, man. So, what were your thoughts on Rick Flair, man? And you know the things he had to say about all elite wrestling, some of the guys there. Look, the point is now he. I'm not saying he doesn't have a point. But here's the thing, yeah. okay? And I I've been saying it. It's gonna take AW quite a few years. They're not right. finna just come out and instantly be competing with WWE. They still got building box to build. They just got these guys. Now, if he's saying this after three to four years of them being here. And nothing right, right, really right. came of it. Then, man, you know, I, I I really can't argue with his point. But this is your they they just completed two years, man. They're they and they just finally now starting to get these type of people. Like for the last what three to four? What is this? This is November. What so up, for the last what three to four months? At least at least let's, let's go let's go six months. Let's say for the last six months, they just got. A new crop of guys, and a lot of them, you know, with with a little, you know, cachet that's helped build in their brand. And a guy like Brian Danielson, who's been doing what he's been doing for what, the last couple of months. I mean, him, Adam Cole, they just got there, and they've already started doing good things with some of these younger talent. Right. You got CM Punk coming in, you know, he's trying to get his footing back, but while getting his footing back. He's coming in challenging Darby Allen, and they putting on a damn good match. Like you, you, they're not gonna be the constant one million viewership from like what WWE does, like at least what Raw does, uh, because a lot of people that are watching it, they're not watching it for the wrestling. AEW, you're watching AEW for the wrestling. Let it, let it, you're, you're not watching it for all the goofy shit that WWE does. So mm -hmm. once they get a couple of more years and establish that entertainment a little bit more, but continue to focus on the wrestling, man, it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. But he's not wrong. Eventually, they'll get to that point. They're moving in the right direction, man. But it's still going to take some time, man. It, they're, they're not. They're going to fail a little bit before it really gets better. But this is a great start for them to move forward i mean having these guys come in and and showcase all these newer guys yo that's 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 going to help down the line and their relationships with other companies the what they do that's helping too and that's helping the other companies so look i mean look right. what it's impact impact is starting to get their footing back a little bit they, they you know they, they're getting a little bit of respect put on their name just a little bit just a little bit just a little, just a little bit you know not not too much but just a little bit just enough you know it, it, it's it's still it's still baby steps for them man because you know, they were the shit and then you know what happened happened and then people kind of just gave up on them but it, it's 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 a slow build right. for ring of honor unfortunately you know they let everybody go so we don't know but uh you know all the other companies, NWA, CWC. You know they 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 uh, you know they're all you know they're all getting you know they're all getting to that footing of this wrestling that's starting to pick up a little bit. It's it's like I say, it's just gonna still take some time. Well, you know, speaking of that, I see. I, I'm gonna give. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, ninety eight point nine percent of the way, but I kind of want to play a little bit of devil's advocate. But before I make my point, or at least try to make a point. I want to I, I want to kind of say something else because <clears throat> like you brought up something that I think a lot of people fail to realize or just you know choose to be completely ignorant to the fact that AEW and they've even said it AEW was never meant to be competition right AEW mission was to always be the alternative AEW was never to be okay yeah we're better than WWE you know AEW was hey you used to like this certain style of wrestling growing up. You don't have it anymore. Hey, this is for all the nostalgia right here. This is for the people. Hey, we're here to give you what they don't. We, we don't care if you are 50 years old 
and want to see fucking soap opera type shit. That's not what we're here for. They made their mission very clear. We're here for the hardcore fans and for the teens and, and, and the young adults and all that. Now, Becky Lynch, she recently had an interview. Her and Charlotte have been doing an odd amount of interviews. I've never seen this many interviews where they're quote unquote out of character, but the question came up. It's do building up for some pirate series, dude. Of course, of course, of course. But the question came up, do you watch AEW? And Becky Lynch said, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I absolutely watch AEW. I watch everything they're doing and vice versa. But she said, you know, I don't just watch AEW. I watch everything. And she said that, and she's even said that she was like, I don't view them as competition. I view them as the alternative. But that's not a bad thing. She said, that's actually a great thing because we as performers, we as wrestlers, we need that competition just like they need it, just like all these other territories need it. So it's a great thing. So even hearing her kind of say that, because, you know, you get so many people in WWE, they want to kind of play that corporate, you know, uh, uh, hype machine, right? They want to act like, you know, they want to kind of take Vince's lead and try to play it off as, as, you know, like Roman Reigns. Roman, you know what it is. You can say whatever you want about CM Punk. You can say whatever you want about the size of the guys in the AEW locker room. At the end of the day, you're talking that shit now, but you wasn't always where you are right now. So now you're kind of feeling yourself a little bit because you finally got to the point to where WWE had been trying to shove you for the last seven, eight, nine years. And now you kind of got to that plat, you know, that, that the top of the mountain. You looking down, but what you fail to realize is you're a big fish. You started to become a big fish in the small in the small pond because guess what? AEW, yeah, you could, they got that. They're not hitting the one million every week like Ric Flair is saying, but you you made a good point. You made a very good point. But the thing is, with the one million, they proven they can't do it. See, that's the thing because when they're going up again, and, and, yeah, yeah, and, and, and they've and they've done it time after time after time after again. time. After okay. time. And, yeah, and 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 and, and O'Brien uh, Danielson just ended up picking up the victory. But I, the thing is, you it's apples to oranges. You know, Raw and SmackDown they've been on the air for over twenty years. You know, you can't compare that to a two year company. If you want to talk about you know the millions and the millions, absolutely, of course not. Of course right. not, because you're going to have people who, who probably ain't watched the episode of Raw or SmackDown in 15, 20 years. they having a randomly scroll by. Oh, damn. Let me see this real quick. The casual viewer where AEW, you know, still, you know, building up on that. But uh, really quick, man, before I let you go ahead and finish taking back over the show, AEW, man, the alternative right now, how long do you think AEW has before – you could really make a solid, concrete assessment on the overall effect they've had on the business. Because I think if for two years, man, bro, even Impact, I think WCW didn't even rise to be competition as fast as AEW has proven to be an alternative. Because it took Hogan, if you think about it, it really I, took Hogan for WCW for my to be like, oh, damn, WCW really got a chance. Five years. I looked at AEW and said, they have five years to make something consistent and something that's stable. And what they're doing <clears throat> is good. Brian Danielson is challenging what next week? Mm. Yeah. He challenging Coco Banner. Hmm. He gonna go through now tired dark order. Oh, I, 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 that, that's what he said. He said if Coco Banner got any nuts. <laughs> oh shit. MJ. Oh no, man. Hey. All right, I'm up, I'm a I'm a uh, I'm gonna mute this right here because we're gonna get off in a second, man. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm pause it myself so I can, I can I can actually focus on the rest of the conversation at hand here. But yeah, man. You know the the I I, I give AW. I was saying five years. Like in five years, you know they got to be somewhat stable as far as that constant that people are gonna watch, like it is now. Okay, where right. you know getting that eight to one million view, that eight hundred thousand to a million viewers. Uh, and five by the fifth year, I, I I hope to be more consistent with the over one million viewer uh, viewership on a consistent basis. Uh, 
I'm thinking 10 years totally where they could be possibly by the 10th year, they can find maybe find a way to be globally a little bit, get overseas a little bit more and really start making a profit. Like I, I really feel like it's really going to take some time for AEW. It's going to be a build as long as they have talent and they continue to stay true to what they are and not, not get, uh, not do what <clears throat> what WCW and and, and, and TNA did, uh, right? Because man, uh, right now with with the state of WWE, uh, right now AEW is very much needed. Like if there's no AEW right now and all these people still get let go like this, man, do you understand <laughs> how devastating it would be? So yeah. like it's, it's a necessary that they're here right now, and like you say, it's an alternative, man. So and you still have wrestling fans. There's still there's a million plus wrestling fans that are liking AEW. I'm pretty sure uh, Full Gear probably had a nice buyout for their pay per view. Uh, if I, if I'm not I, mistaken, I'm a little off, but I believe it was 125 thousand uh, pay per view buys. Like I do like. <laughs> 125 125,000 pay-per-view buys at what $60 $50 a piece 50 yeah. 50 by the right so yeah and that's man. not even to mention the illegal streaming <laughs> oh right well yeah that too but uh but nah man it, like they like they're like they're they're doing good numbers like people are showing up yeah that's that that's the thing all right they're selling. If you're looking at their crowds, man, dude, they're selling out. They're they're selling out their shows. The pay per views, people are buying the pay per views. Like merchandise, people are buying the merchandise. Like people mm -hmm. are trending and 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 TikToking and 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 and, and Twittering and all of this Facebook and they're, they're 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 showing up as their favorite wrestler for AEW and like like they're doing they're doing something like they're and right. they're, and it's good. Um, but it no, it's nowhere. It's gonna be nowhere near. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be nowhere near AEW. It's gonna be maybe twenty years if they can stay stable for twenty years. If AEW can survive twenty years, maybe they'll be halfway, halfway to what WWE is now. Um, mm. depending on what WWE is now, twenty years from now. Uh, but I, yeah, mm. man, it. it, it if you're looking for the rush now, no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it just 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 stop now. Just stop with that thought now. Like there's no point. Well, Tuco, man, it's about 8 30. Uh yeah. you and I. We gotta be back on here in about another hour. 60 minutes to hour and 15 minutes, you know, 9 39, 45 ish. So let's go here, man. Let's wrap Ain't things up because you got a lot. You got a lot, man. You got a lot. You know, this is your show tonight. So, you know, we got to save your voice. We got to keep your voice ready for the people. So any final words, man, before we close out show number one? Nah, man. We pretty good, man. Like I said, we got the Cowboy uh, shit celebration. We got Eva Uno getting beat by uh, Brian Danielson. Then we got Brian Danielson challenging Coca Banner for next week. Uh, nah, man. Nice way to start the show. And then when we pick back up, man, we'll just pick off where we finished off, man, and then end the night, bro. And then we we'll get ready for the series, which yeah, yeah, yeah. But for tonight, it's Wednesday night, so we're gonna stay happy. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see y'all in a minute. Peace. <laughs>